In recent years, the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has caught the attention of the world. This bitter and complex struggle, rooted in historical, political, and religious factors, has had a profound impact on the lives of people on both sides. The conflict between Israel and Hamas can be traced back to the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 and the displacement of Palestinians that followed. Hamas, an Islamist militant group, was founded in the late 1980s as an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood, with the goal of establishing an Islamic state in the region. Since then, it has fought against what it sees as Israeli occupation. Over the years, tensions have continued to escalate, leading to a series of violent clashes and wars between the two sides. One of the key issues that fuels the conflict is the control of land. Both Israel and Hamas claim the same territory, specifically the Gaza Strip, which is a narrow piece of land on the eastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea. The Gaza Strip, which is home to approximately 2 million Palestinians, has been under Israeli blockade since 2007. The blockade restricts the movement of goods and people in and out of the region, causing economic hardship and limited access to basic necessities such as food, water, and health care. This has resulted in a dire humanitarian crisis, with poverty and unemployment rates soaring. The conflict has also been characterized by frequent rocket attacks launched by Hamas into Israel and Israeli airstrikes in response. These attacks have caused death and destruction on both sides, with civilians often bearing the brunt of the violence. The loss of innocent lives, including children, has drawn international condemnation and sparked widespread outrage. However, it is important to note that the conflict is not solely driven by one side or the other. The Israeli government maintains that it has a right to defend itself against attacks and is committed to the security of its citizens. Hamas, on the other hand, argues that it is resisting occupation and defending the rights of Palestinians. Efforts to find a peaceful resolution to the conflict have been numerous but often unsuccessful. International bodies such as the United Nations and various countries have attempted to mediate, broker ceasefires, and facilitate peace negotiations. However, deep-seated mistrust, differing demands, and the complex nature of the conflict have made it difficult to reach a lasting agreement. The impact of the Israel-Hamas conflict extends beyond the immediate region. It has wider ramifications for the Middle East and the world at large. The conflict has strained relationships between countries, deepened religious and political divides, and fueled extremism. The suffering and loss of life on both sides of the conflict are tragic. Innocent civilians, including women and children, find themselves caught in the crossfire, with their lives forever altered or cut short. The cycle of violence, retaliation, and destruction perpetuates a cycle of fear, anger, and further conflict. The urgency to find a peaceful solution to the Israel-Hamas conflict cannot be understated. Diplomatic efforts must prioritize dialogue, compromise, and understanding. Addressing the underlying grievances, such as land disputes and the humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip, is critical to building a foundation for lasting peace. While the path to resolution may seem challenging and complex, history has shown that conflicts can be resolved through negotiation and dialogue. It is crucial for all parties involved to recognize the humanity and rights of the other, seek common ground, and work towards a future where both Israelis and Palestinians can live in peace, security, and dignity. Only through this collective effort can the cycle of violence be broken and a just and lasting peace be achieved.